on with because I don't know how many hard drive space I actually have to be recording all these sessions. Okay, we're all back. It looks like. Um, are we missing anyone? Is Abby here? Abby is there in the corner. There we go. And Abby would have been next, I believe, to. Is Jade? Oh, I don't see Jade. Okay. Yeah, Jade is gone now. So Jade said she um, she won't be able to do the rest of the day today and Wednesday um, because okay. she already had plans before and she just got the schedule. Okay. Uh, it's just today and Wednesday. Okay. Not a big deal, actually. And we'll get through. Okay, so folks who have not introduced themselves with preferred pronouns yet then would include Abby, uh, let's see, Angie just introduced herself, and then we have Christina, Karina, and did we get Jenny? Janie? No? Janie? Uh, yeah, Janie's there. Okay. So, uh, Abby, would you like to pick up where we left off, and we'll just zip through preferred names and pronouns. I think I've got everybody marked on attendance now, so we can stop worrying about that. Oh, we can't hear you. Let me, there we go. I've unmuted you. Okay. Hi, my name is Abby Marquez, and my pronouns are she, her. Thank you. And Karina? Oh, hi, my name is Karina. I go by she. Wait, hold on. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then Janie? Um, I'm Janie. I go by she, her. Thank you. And Christina? Christina, can you hear us? Uh, she already went with Angie, but she has her own account. Oh, okay, that's right, because she went uh, yeah. back to back. They were next to each other. Okay, now I'm tracking. Sorry, y'all. This is like definitely different for me as well. I've been doing this a long time and never like this. Okay, um, let me. How about uh, Mike? Did Michael go? I don't know if Michael did go. I don't see him on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I, you're on a different spot on the screen <laughs> than you were. Oh, my name is Michael, and I go by he, him pronouns. Thank you. Okay, so I need at least the folks in this room to go ahead and type your email into the chat um, so that I can share a slideshow with you. And while that's happening, we can go over the syllabus. And Graham, if uh, you could do me a favor and um, I'll, I'll do like a basic walkthrough um, up until the point of the schedule and go over like some course expectations and stuff. If you could just uh, share the first day slideshow with folks as they uh, type their email. Um, like add them to it so that they can get in and edit their slides when we get there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. You have, um, the slide, you sent that slide list to me, right? Uh, I David, did. David. I yep. shared okay. it with you yesterday. Um, uh, let me make sure here. Yeah, it says shared with, yep, shared with Graham. So, and you just want me to enter everyone's name as we go, or their email? As yeah, as just, just share it with all of them because they're going to need to be oh. able to edit their slides. Got it. I'll do that right now. And the nice thing is we actually have the homework instructions on the last slide. So uh, we will not have to send you an email with that. You'll just be able to access this again and uh, refresh yourself on the homework instructions, which is very light for the first day, trying to get a nice gentle start while we all get to know each other. Um, so let me share screen here. And uh, Graham, obviously you can get out of full screen uh, to continue pasting emails. Um, I need, here we go, share. Okay, can you all see my screen now? Excellent. 
So Graham and I went pretty ambitious with this and um, really tried to do true interdisciplinarity. Um, and so we've decided that uh, the theme of our, uh, of our course is going to be our social and natural environments um, and the ways that we can track and map those environments um, in various ways. Um, Graham actually has a lot of expertise in uh, what's called GIS. Uh, so it's uh, actually, would you like to explain real quick what GIS is? Sure. Um, so GIS stands for Global Information Systems. And it's basic, the tagline of, uh, of it is, is the science of where. So it's, you know, being able to ask questions of uh, maps as well as collect data and input uh, and create maps of your own. So um, very powerful software. I've just uh, actually gotten my certification by taking three uh, quarters of the class during my uh, program at Evergreen. So it, I wanted to really show you guys something that um, is also a really employable uh, technology to learn. Now, there's a joke in my uh, cohort that GIS stands for guaranteed income security. So um, that's, you know, if, especially in times like the pandemic, you know, we can't go out and do a lot of things, but we can make a lot of things and maps are one of those things we're gonna make. So, yeah. Um. If I just paste the link to this Google Doc, will they be able to open it up? Yeah, and... that's I think a better way because I'm trying to do it cut paste, and of course, uh, of course, Google doesn't like it when I move cut paste from. Uh, right. Yeah. So yeah, that would I think be easier. Do you, do you want or I can share the link? I think I've got it. Okay. Yeah. Actually, because it's like I don't have access to all the uh, the stuff in this share screen mode. So if you want to just share the link so that they can follow along. Um, so these are the best emails that you can reach us at. Um, and I've just given you my personal Gmail account because we're not, we don't have full Canvas access yet. Actually, I was going to orient all of you to uh, the Canvas site um, and show you how to use uh, its features and stuff, but it seems like that would be best saved until you have access and we can get a little hands-on with it. Because I don't know about you, but I learn best by doing. Um, and it may be in terms of our technical difficulties today that we've got to update this Zoom link. I, it should be the right one, but we'll find out. Um, and then, sorry, Priscilla, I actually forgot to, to put your evergreen email there because I only have your Gmail currently. Okay, so I'm not going to read verbatim everything that we have on this syllabus, um, but I am going to summarize it for you. My experience is that if you have text in front of you and I'm reading it to you, it's, it makes for a bit of a monotone, kind of boring experience. So in terms of um, the overview and purpose, let me just say that what we're striving to do here is get you to make connections between, uh, oh, Lonnie's back, between your natural uh, ecological environment um, and the social dynamics that have helped create that environment. And then one layer further, the social environment that you have to navigate every day. All three of those aspects make up, right, what we call our home, our region, our location. Um, and so if you'll allow the metaphor, I want us to really be able to like locate ourselves in the culture writ large, right? And to locate our region in the nation writ large. Um, so we want you as well to be able to draw connections between these two wildly different disciplines. Um, and we are going to have you uh, reading scholarly texts. Um, I've tried to, uh, select stuff that is going to be engaging and not overly difficult. I have one piece built in that's a little more challenging, kind of intentional to like get you used to what you might encounter, right, as you go through college. Um, I know for myself, the first time I encountered an especially, especially difficult text, 
I just didn't know what to do with it. Like I had no idea how to read it because I'd never been exposed to that before, right? Until it was in the context of um, being in a high stakes class and like having to adapt and, and cope. Um, and so I think I'm trying to give you with that at least uh, something I felt I missed out on, right? It's like a more gentle exposure to a more difficult text. Um, so when we get access to Canvas, um, I'm gonna be having you, and so so will Graham, uh, having you post written responses or you will have the option of recording like a two to three minute video in lieu of a written response. But a response to the um, reading of the day or the uh, text of the day, because in some cases, as you'll see, uh, some of our texts are videos, right? Um, or uh, in some cases, songs. Um, and that is kind of common in the humanities. Looks like we have some things that got cut off as we were editing yesterday. I apologize for that. Um, and the microwave is going off now, so I have to <laughs> stop that. Um, um, well, yeah, while you're taking care of that, Amir, I'll just say that, uh, you know, so one of the things we're going to be working, working with you guys is to just kind of understand how do you also use technology as a way as a tool uh, to make some of these connections so like that the map that uh, that we sh that you saw at the beginning there was a map that I made um, for a final project where we were looking at how much people's opinion of climate change was affected by wildfires so um, you know many parts as we can see in Washington uh, the the on the right side that says blue, that means the more that uh, their opinion has changed that climate change will affect future generations. And so we wanted to look at, uh, based on wildfire severity, how much did that change people's perception? And as you can see in Washington, changes in places like Idaho where, you know, they did have severe fires. So um, that was just, those are just an example, just an example of some questions you can use. Um, this was based on opinion poll data that Yale uh, collected um, back in 2008. So anyway, or 18, yeah, just uh, just a, an idea there. Mm -hmm. Well, and that is, uh, it's good to bring that up because that is something that we're ultimately gonna be having you do this, this I can't call it a quarter, but this class, right? <laughs> um, in fact, our culminating project is going to be um, that you design good research questions. I've got, I'm sorry, I've got to leave the room. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna step outside. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna, so one of the other cool aspects of ArcGIS Pro that exists is now there's, they basically have been moving along with what people want and what pe data people want to collect. So um, surveys and as you guys will get into your undergraduate studies, you'll learn that collect data collection is key to any um, research you're going to do. If whether that research is, uh, in, you know, restoration ecology, such as my field, or whether you're in, you know, you want to understand environmental justice and the effect of, uh, you know, the environment on communities. So th this uh, is just some screenshots of um, community analysts that can show you, you know, based on your where you're at, I dropped a pin in Olympia, you can see what the uh, demographics are. So you can use existing data, but then you can also create your own survey, which we're gonna do um, to ask a, a social question and teach you guys how to do that, so. Oh, I apologize. My, uh, my roommate also is working from home and he worked over the phone, right? <laughs> so sometimes it's gonna be some unavoidable noise, right? Um, so, that is the, the culminating project is we're going to have you design research questions and actually generate a map of that style um, and create a poster presentation that you'll present at the very end. Um, and Graham is going to actually give you a chance to get your feet wet with that beforehand in this second inquiry. No, I'm going kind of in reverse order here. Um, uh, and that will be rather than um, mapping out some social issues, mapping out ecological issues so that you get to sample both. And 
the first thing that you'll write for me is a heavy essay. I'll just be real with you up front, okay? I'm, I'm going to make you seriously reflect on encounters with racism and sexism um, because when I think about our social environments, I think about, and when I think about our ecological environments for that matter, I think about the host of issues that we face, the, the host of challenges that we face as we proceed into the future. Um, and I know in my own experience, I was like pretty old before I was ever really forced to, to think about these things seriously or to reflect on these things in an authentic way. Um, and so I want to give you the benefit of like being exposed to this stuff. Um, certainly it's going to support you in uh, your future career path to already like be sensitive to these issues, right? Um, and to not say the wrong thing in the workplace that um, could risk the future of your employment. Um, as even just like a base reason to do that type of thing. Um, but also I think it's pretty crucial for understanding like how deeply connected these issues are. Um, like when we look at, for example, um, the way a landscape is now versus like a hundred years in the past, well, what role did humans have, right? In making it so. Um, so I will say, um, thinking about in La Ketch, which I didn't realize Reva was going to read. Um, and so I had planned to, to read it to you as well. But since it's already been read for today, we'll just do it next class. I think it's a good thing to start each class with that. But, but thinking about the main message of this poem, right? If we're going to deal with like potentially very heated issues that people get very sensitive about, we really have to keep this mantra in mind, this ethic in mind, that we don't want to harm our peers, right? We have to approach these types of conversations with a real sense of empathy. And I, I think a good way to think about it, right, is that rather than things are getting heated, rather than trying to win an argument, if one could seek to understand people's different perspectives, that seems to me a much more productive way to go about a learning environment, right? Than this notion of, uh, well, we have to debate and argue and stuff like that. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, so there may be moments, right? Where somebody puts their foot in their mouth and says something that was less than sensitive, but we also have to be like empathetic and loving even, right? Uh, in order, uh, for people to be able to work through those types of dynamics in a way that isn't destructive. And having done this type of work for like 10 years, I know how uh, precarious it can be to talk about these things. Um, get back over to, whoops. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly us through the schedule real quick so that we can shift into the icebreaker for today. Um, I want you to note that our next class on Monday, we're kind of devoting it to further getting to know one another. Um, and you don't have your first like heavy reading assignment um, until that day. However, this is about 25 pages of text or so. And so if you uh, wanted to get a, a handle on it earlier on, um, once I get all your emails, I'm certainly like happy to send it to you so that you have access to it over the weekend. Um, and is Priscilla still in the room? Yep. Okay, so I will also, just depending on uh, when the emails come in, if I have to take off today, because I'm not gonna have access to internet for a couple of days, uh, if I have to take off today, I will uh, email that text to Priscilla and so that when we do get your emails. Yes. I did send in the emails right now. Um, okay. So you should have access to that. All I have to do is um, combine their phone numbers. So that's something I have to put together, but you should have access to their emails. Okay, excellent. All right, so. And, and uh, the, I just want to check, does everybody have access to the Google Docs that have been shared in the chat? I, I see some people are, Alani was requesting access. 
provide that. Uh, did you give me access? Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't. I think maybe Amr might be the access bearer. I'm not. Oh, sure. oh, I see. So do I have to uh, share with folks uh, to get them in on that one? Yeah, you just yeah. like accept them. Accept them. Yeah. Oops. I'm not getting any requests. Shoot. Maybe I think it. Maybe it was back on the. Anyway, we'll it's, get we'll get to it's, the. It's yeah. the one you sent us on the chat, right? Yeah, it's the Google slide one or something. Do I have to do something with the permissions, Elizabeth, for them to be able to see that just by by way of the link? I'm not the Google expert. I normally just go in and get a link. Um, so I go into my document, my Google Doc, and I hit share. And then I go down to the get link option and I copy the, I change the oh. and it can link and view. And I copy that. So you have registered people only. So only people with the Gmails will be able to do it, which I'm sure all of you got Gmails. I'm the old school person who's like still what the hotmail or whatever. Okay. But, well, then I can I can redo that. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can that. change that to anyone on the internet with this link and then copy that link and post it. And that's what I generally do. Okay, that makes more thank you. That's I got it. I'll put it in the chat right now. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I had it, but I can't get to the chat <laughs> the way my screen is set up right now. Okay. So that'll be your first uh, major reading. It is not terribly difficult, but it is heavy. Okay. So it will, it will cause you to think a lot. Um, and depending on whether or not we have Canvas access that may be submitted on Canvas, if not, then we're going to have to really do everything over Google. We might not have necessarily the benefit of seeing each other's posts beforehand, but the idea of doing a response uh, prior to coming together on Zoom and talking about a text is that everybody has had a chance to process their thoughts a little bit. So everybody should be able to come to the table with something to say. Um, Can I ask a question really quick? Mm -hmm. um, so I did get an email sent back to me that the students' accounts have been activated or reactivated. So if you guys as students can check and just let me know in the chat, like, hey, I did receive an email or not, um, to activate your evergreen, that would be helpful because then you guys can have access to Canvas. Okay, so then it seems like very likely we're going to be able to do things on Canvas. Yeah. Okay, good. Ugh, I'm trying to negotiate, like, what is more noisy, outside or <laughs> inside right now? Um, okay, so at the same time, you will have, have they gotten their books? You will have a book that we've ordered for you called Braiding Sweetgrass. Um, and we're gonna have you uh, read a chapter of your choice from a range of possible chapters um, for each of those assignments so that the hope is that you choose different chapters and in talking about it, um, we get a little you know, sampling of the text, um, but it is a, an enjoyable one, I think. Um, Do this is a little bit of a shorter piece that we'll read next, um, which will mean that we don't have to spend quite as much time the, the next class talking about it. Um, and we'll have uh, the opportunity to do, uh, do an activity where we do some drawing, get a little hands on. Um, and then I should note that in this week, you will be beginning phase one of your second inquiry, which means really like getting your uh, feet wet with identifying plants so that you have the skill set when we get there. Um, yeah, and I'm going to teach you guys, you know, a whole uh, whole aspects of, you know, what you should, how to collect, what not to collect, and uh, just, you know, giving you all the things you need um, to be able to be safe. <laughs> Um, we have a chat from Alexandra saying they still need access to the Google Doc. Same here. Um, I still don't have access either. Yeah, same. Okay, well that didn't work. So, um, if you can share us, 
if you don't mind, maybe we can tell you how to do it. Go to your Gmail. <laughs> My Gmail? Yeah. Or whoever is sharing uh, yeah. the doc. Let me stop the screen share for just a moment. Okay. Gmail. Um, reload it. Because you should oh, be getting Oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, open sharing settings. Thanks for bearing with us, guys. This is a challenge for us, too. <laughs> We're all in this together. That's right. <laughs> and we all want the same thing, which is to have a good time. So we're going to do that. Send. Oh, boy, this wants me to do. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to do this. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Graham is talking. So, um, sure. Graham, if you want to continue walking them through the schedule while I just get everybody added. You betcha. Um, so I'll just screen share the schedule here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I got to get enabled by the host. Oh. Uh, so. Um, Amr, on the bottom of your screen, whoever the host is, um, there's a security thing right next to participants. That's where you can give people access to share their screen. Okay. Let's see, Graham. Or... No. But Graham, you are co-host already. Okay. So no, I'm, no, I'm good. Security. Here it goes. Uh, allow participants to share screen. Got it. All right. I'm. I'm good. Can everybody see this? Yep. Yep. Okay, great. So yeah, so uh, once again, the text that um, you'll be reading with me uh, in, that kind of braids all these ideas together um, and also gets into a, a way of looking at plants that I think is very valuable. Um, a text called Braiding Sweetgrass that's written by uh, an indigenous woman here of the Pacific Northwest and just a really great way to kind of look at um, how, you know, a lot of what I've been working in is Western science and um, what I've learned in my time is really, we're, we're really just getting back to a lot of these traditional ecological aspects of knowledge that uh, breeding sweetgrass is a great way of blending um, scientific wisdom with traditional ecological knowledge. So I'm really excited to share the book with you guys because it's one of my favorites and, um, and, you know, really any chapter we'll be able to pick up and you can choose and read. The chapters are, you know, 10 to 15 pages at most, some maybe a little longer, um, maybe 20 or something. But, you know, you'll have the opportunity to pick and choose. So, um, you know, my hope is that, you know, maybe you'll, you'll it's a kind of a book that will get you excited about the chapters that you read. So if you want to read more and have more time, that's great. We're going to honor that. Um, but really understand you got a lot on your plate right now. So, um, so anyway, yeah, you know, really getting Let's see, back to the schedule here. Um, so yeah, so we'll be doing uh, an activity of drawing your own map for for Mondays with me. So that's gonna be, um, you know, really just kind of getting you guys to kind of think about where you're at and what's around you. And also, uh, you know, as an artist, I really wanna teach you guys about how to really break down what you're looking at and turn it into a, a product that you can share with people. So this is, you know, part of what also good map making is about is about how, what do you what do you see and want to take out of your mind and put into it on the paper or the screen. Um, so you know we're gonna have reading responses that'll be due the day before uh, the last Friday of each class. So the night of that Thursday it'll be due. Amr and I really wanted to make sure we didn't have two things due for you on the same day. So we're really staggering those. Um, so, you know, and that response can be a hundred, you know, a hundred words of your typing, or, you know, if you don't want to type, you can give a video recording about what you um, thought, but really trying to get that before the Friday, because then on the Friday, we're going to have seminar and actually talk about, um, about what we want you to, uh, what you want, what you to do, but I may have actually, sorry, I think I, did we, Amr, did we talk, we didn't talk about what we want them to do for their homework yet, did we? No, it's on the last slide of the uh, thing, but we are running low on on time, so. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, maybe we should just identify, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, well, I'll just run through the rest of the schedule. And, you know, just so you guys know for um, uh, the, our, for our activity the, on Monday, we want to make sure you guys bring a, um, an object from your home and a plant that uh, has a story behind it. So that will kind of segue us into uh, getting into all these different aspects. So anyway, I'll continue down here. The 1st of July here, we're going to um, collect the, so that's where um, we're gonna, I'm going to have you collect as many different leaves as you can. Then you'll bring them back to me to identify. Um, then we'll make a list of those. And then moving into uh, week three, I'll let Amr um, get to that if he wants, or I can continue if you're, you're still loading people's access. I am almost through it. Um, do, 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 do. I... Well, then I'll, I'll just say, so week three, I'm going to be getting into, you know, we'll, we can basically just continue to read sections of um, green sweetgrass, but also I want to, you know, now we've collected plants, I want to teach you guys about plant evolution and plant families. So just learning a little bit more about how, how you can see familiarities, um, which is something that I think is always key, whether we're looking at social or uh, natural environments. So got some cool TED Talks to share and uh, and then, then we'll move into the Northwest First People and the plants that they used um, to act, to be able to live here. And with that too, we'll um, get you guys using those hand lenses and some of your paints and uh, paper and pencils because I'm going to teach you how to do scientific illustration, uh, which is quite easy, uh, though it just takes some, some, some uh, techniques. So uh, I think that and then, yeah, we'll get into kind of what I was talking about with brain sweetgrass um, and some seminar on some of the chapters, but really talking about what I was hinting at. And then we'll, by the end of week three, we'll be really getting into GI or understanding what GIS is all about. Hmm. Oh boy, I can't believe that I have to, to accept the request for these, for the slideshow. Um, because I thought we shared that directly, but let's see, I have, all right, there's yeah, Tabitha, maybe. and then, sorry, Google is taking a while, or Chrome is taking a while to load each time now as well. No, I'll just get, continue my sections, and then, uh, then you can just wrap it up, and we'll, uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so then on week four, you know, I'll be um, teaching you guys more about um, survey one, two, three. So as I said, really getting into the nuts and bolts of how to design a survey, but also um, get you guys logged in with uh, evergreen accounts that you have. Um, and also talking about how you can, we'll, we'll figure out like who wants to use their Chromebook versus using their phone um, for these surveys. and. And, you know, really in the survey design, this section, I'm really going to be walking through, you know, you guys aren't going to have to design these things yourself. You're going to give me information that then I'm going to take understanding how to create an application that then we're going to use. Um, so yeah, once again, more reading sections and then uh, that in the, towards the middle of the week, we'll actually test the survey, uh, make sure it works and then get you out collecting more plant specimens based on um, those leaves that you bring me and the list that we create the first and then another seminar on brain sweetgrass brings us to week five then we'll download our data um, but we also gonna need to make sure that we have all our data so that's when you're gonna have to make sure you've got um, all your plants collected by and so pretty much we do things um, and then you know we'll download the data do some analysis. I'll teach you guys just a little bit about, you know, just really brief statistics on how, what we're looking for in analysis, and then taking some of that analysis and making it more visual. So GIS is great because we can make quick graphs and uh, map things, make heat maps that I think you guys will really enjoy. Um, so yeah, and then more reading, um, and then we're moving into uh, the social survey mapping. So this is our so um, that's where you're going to be uh, working on whatever hypothesis or question you want to test of this, uh, qualitatively on the, your environment. That's when really things will be kind of coming together. Um, and then, yeah, the 24th will be 
um, the last phase of inquiry, or sorry, phase one of inquiry three, um, which will be basically creating this final project. Um, so really mapping, map labeling and design, kind of thinking how things should be cool. Um, and then the, I'll work with you, we'll work with you on that. We're trying to, and then the week, you know, week six, we're really trying to build in some, some time just to make sure um, we can catch up. So that's when we'll work with the map layout. Um, and I'll also, you know, for those of you who are done, um, I'll be teaching some uh, watercolor painting. And so hopefully we'll all be done by that time to make some cool paintings and uh, teach you how to use watercolors. So, um, and that brings us to the, the end of the, the month and we'll present our final posters, which I think you'll be impressed with. Awesome. I have two more people to add here. Could you all check to see that you have access to the, that you're able to access the slide? And if anybody is still unable to, let me know real quick. And I'll bring you back up here to. I still don't have access to those slides for core day one, right? That's the one you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't have access either. Maybe try refreshing your, uh, your page. Yeah, sometimes refreshing will bring it up there. It's kind of finicky. Yeah, because everybody who's requested access now, except for, oh, it looks like a simple farmer, whoever's. Okay, I'm in. Great. Right, a simple farmer here. Okay, and... Vandra needs access to the syllabus, and that should be it. Or sorry, Allie, I gotta get in the habit. Sorry. Uh, Maybe if, if anybody has a name that they prefer, just change it in their Zoom uh, screen too. That'll make it easier on us. Okay, we should be good now. Oh, Thor, and okay. Okay, that's another syllabus, access one. Oof. So many technical hiccups today. Okay, we're... Okay, so looks like, Angie, are you in already? On the slideshow? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. So I do see another request there. Okay, Spartan Cooks and... And then... Hopefully this is the last one on the slideshow. Oof. Just takes forever to load each time. All right, does anybody now still not have access to the slideshow? Looks like Christina. Christina still? Yeah. Christina, would you mind uh, resending a share request then? And that should be the last one on the syllabus. Okay. Jane just requested access. So. Okay. And I see Lacey just requested access. Okay, send. And Lacey. Send. Okay, that should be it now. Um, 
I still. Oh, there's Abby. Just for the syllabus, though. Oof. Okay, viewer send. Okay, so are we are we good now? I I think so. Yeah, does, it, does anybody still not have access to the slideshow or the syllabus? I've removed it from the share screen, so now. Okay. It doesn't hopefully it doesn't get confused with the share screen. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and share screen myself again here, if that's all right. And I know we are running a bit behind on time. Um, okay, so I know I left off at week three. What I wanted to say here is that um, at this point, uh, you'll really begin the drafting process of your first inquiry and you'll note that at the end of that week um, I'm actually going to be having you read example essays from when I've had other college students of mine write to this type of well, I modified it a little bit for you but a very similar prompt to this that I uh, came up with previously um, and I think that those are really good essays too which you, you may actually enjoy um, and as we get into week four, um, so you'll see that uh, by midnight of that first day, your, uh, your first draft is due, but I'm gonna give you uh, the duration of that week. I'm gonna quickly turn around feedback for you and give you the duration of that week to revise it. Um, and by midweek, I'm going to orient you to a tool we'll use in Canvas to mark up a text together and share some note taking techniques with you um, to help prepare you for uh, grappling with difficult texts in college. Um, and by week five, we're beginning the research design as Graham was talking about for your final inquiry. I do apologize that got detoured so badly they're trying to get you all access to the slideshow. Um, at that point as well, you'll note that uh, you don't really have any more readings from me. Um, at that point, we're like watching uh, music videos and, uh, and videos and stuff and using those as texts. And that's very intentional because at that point, you'll have a lot of other competing work on your plate. Um, and I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by having to do a, a dense reading or something or a heavy reading at the same time as well. But also in the humanities, as I said earlier, we do think about texts really broadly like that, right? We will take up a piece of pop culture and call it a text and analyze it as a piece of literature. Okay, we gotta make a judgment call here because we are out of time and yet we have not really done our icebreaker yet. Um, so I see two options. We could hang a little bit late and cut into your lunch and allow you to do the icebreaker today, which would entail getting onto your slide, putting a picture of you and responding to these prompts and maybe putting some extra pictures as well uh, as Graham and I have done. Or we can make that another aspect of your homework and begin by sharing what you've done on these slides uh, at the start of class on, on Monday um, and have you share the object at the same time that you show your slide. Um, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, so let's maybe take a vote. Wait, so what's the homework though that we have to do over the weekend? So, so the homework, which is on the last slide, I'll share, show you, share the screen so you can see the text. Uh, da, 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 here we go. Find a random object and a random plant from around your home. So that could mean your yard and stuff too, right? 
um, but hopefully some something that has a story behind it. So for instance, if you go and grab like a basil or mint leaf from your mom's garden, right? Maybe there's a story for how that plant got there. Um, or another like easy example would be, um, let's say uh, there's an old hat or something, right? That um, has traveled through uh, multiple siblings or, or was your granddad's hat but somehow still around, right? Really just something from around your, your home that you're like, oh, that kind of has a story behind it. And then we're gonna do a little share and like show and tell basically get to know each other better. So it's like pretty low stakes. I wouldn't stress out too much. Just you have to find two things and like, oh, what's, what's something with a story behind it? Um, and then- The only thing I would stress about is don't kill the plant that you're gonna bring and, <laughs> <laughs> and that, yeah, that's all. So would you all prefer to, uh, to also do the slide then um, as part of the homework and like do that at the same time? Raise your hand if that's your preference. Okay. And folks who don't have their screen on, let me just say that there is a uh, reaction emoji where you can always give an affirmative if you're trying to raise your hand or you can always, I think that's a clappy sign or something. But, um, and we should show, you, show them how to do the, uh, the background thing as well real quick, yeah? Sure. I, you know, I know some people's like my computer for whatever reason is not good enough to do it. So. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Like I can't, I, I can try, like, I'll show you. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. Or maybe, I don't know. So tell me if you guys see, see this. Here's like background I wanted to choose. Can you, is it changed it or no? Yeah. It changed. Yeah. changed. It worked. Can you see through my eyes? Or is it oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, can you all see on my screen where I've gone, if you go to where you would stop video and go to this little drop down, you can choose virtual background right there. And then these are just the standard stock ones. And I think you can like add pictures and stuff and do it that way as well. I think it's because I don't have a green screen because my eyes are like blue green. Maybe. Uh, Graham and Amr, I see in the comments that there's a few students who still are having trouble mm. with getting the uh, syllabus. So um, I don't know if people want to unmute themselves and let you know about their trouble, or maybe if we want to dismiss to lunch and students who are still having trouble can stay here and work. Or whatever you all want to do. Um, yeah, so folks who are having trouble, if you want to hang around so that I can make, Abby, like you should be in by now because I, I definitely shared the syllabus. Um, and Karina, I don't think I ever got a request from you in my email. So folks who are not into either the syllabus or the slideshow, hang back so that we can get that sorted. Everybody else is free to go to lunch. Just make Wait, sure that okay. you collect objects and uh, and fill out your slide in the meantime. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Don't close the Zoom. What you guys want to do is turn off your video, mute your screen, go to your lunch, do your thing, and then pop back in here at 1.30 because we're going to go over And I know you're all super duper excited for that, right? 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 OK. And okay. I would just say also if you don't if you don't have access to <coughs> the doc yet, make sure you follow the 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 two uh, links that I shared to request access. That was all. I was mm -hmm. but yeah, like Elizabeth said, you don't need to log out. Just just uh, just shut your video down, and that'll be sufficient. Cool. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really excited to work with you guys. Really, uh, we're going to do some cool stuff. And thanks for bearing with us. You know, this is a learning experience for us too. So, uh, this is, but you know, hopefully, we're going to do some stuff that we couldn't have done without this time. So, it'll be good. Um. All right. So.
Jorgy one 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 zero zero or one zero 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 one. Um, so I was also troubleshooting with the students while this was going on. Mm -hmm. So I got Courtney into the, what is it? Into the core day one. Okay. Um, and, and then I, I sent a message to Sally, but I don't think she messaged me back. Okay. And I just shared the uh, syllabus with, with Courtney via that address as well. Um. And then to Janny's question get answered, yes, it is lunch now. If you're into the documents, please go enjoy lunch. And just let us know if you need more because we do have our workshop. And um, as success coaches, we can try to help this process keep going, you know, because it is a one. So I don't, I'm not counting on everything being perfect, but if we can get everything done today instead. That would be great. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. Okay. So who still does not have access? Oh, there's looks like Abby is asking for access to the syllabus. So get that. So Courtney, if you want to um, change your backdrop, if you go down to the video and then you go, um, if you see how there's a little arrow on the side, then you hit that. And then you go right under integrated webcam, it'll say choose virtual. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like interesting, though. It's catching. I feel like sometimes you might have to get like up against a, a wall or something when there's too much depth. But yeah. <laughs> there you go. Play around with it. Okay, Veronica now should have access to the syllabus as well. And don't have any more requests on my end. So is, who does not still have access to either of those two documents? Or are we good now? Courtney? Or do you have access? Christina looks like she might not, as well as Carlina. Okay. Or Karina, sorry. And okay. have you requested after the link? I mean, I think even if you just go ahead and give me your email address real quick, that might be faster and I can just share it directly. Yeah, if you guys click on the link, that's going to be easier. Access uh, request, and then he can just accept you guys or just give him your email. If you just give me your email right now, I can do it that way as well. There okay. We go. So let's get this one in. Share. Done. Share. Done. Then Christina and Veronica. Okay. That's weird because I totally accepted multiple requests from you, Veronica. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Share. Christina. Share. And then Veronica. Done. And Okay, you should have access now. Don't have the syllabus. That work for you, Courtney? No. 
I think um, here's let me give you Courtney's emails up here. Oh, maybe I missed it. Yeah, I'll repost it. Appreciate that. Only the syllabi. But, but yes, on the slideshow, you've got that. Okay. Uh, are you looking for it, Graham? I'm looking for what? Oh, I got it. I sent it to, oh, sorry. I sent it to this morning. <laughs> she, she knows her own email. I should. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, so you shared it directly? Yeah. Oh, no, there it is. I see it. I shared it with oh, you. Oh, I totally copied this earlier. That's weird. Maybe it didn't get to fill this. I it should have, but let's try it again. Okay, that was it. The Georgie email. Let me know if that worked. <laughs> I should stop recording now as well.